Hi again, this is Doug Williams with Viva Las Vegas Autos and A Car's Life. And I'm bringing you a really cool car here, as you can see. This is a 1932 Ford High Boy Roadster that's been customized, as you can see. And it's uh, really a neat little car. It's got a Ford 302 V8 that's modified under the hood. Uh, it's got a mild cam in it. And it's got some zoomy headers that come out the side there, as you can see. And uh, it's got those beautiful wire wheels from Daytona. Uh, Dayton, excuse me, Dayton. And uh, they're absolutely immaculate and beautiful with that uh, powder coated black and the spinners. And those are real spinners as well. We got this, the uh, big tool to pull off those spinners uh, inside the trunk of the vehicle. But uh, this is done in the phaser purple. It's an all metal body, all steel body. Uh, 32 Ford, uh, titled it as a 32 Ford. It's got coilover, uh, four link rear suspension on it, uh, automatic transmission, and uh, that curved, really beautiful curved windshield on top there too. Uh, under the hood, you'll see here in a minute that uh, it's quite pretty underneath. And when you see the pictures of the underside of the vehicle, uh, it's a showpiece top to bottom on this uh, car too. It's got the Harley Davidson headlights, disc brakes all the way around and lots of fun. So let's walk around this thing and show you some up close pictures of it. See what you think. Those Dayton wheels are absolutely beautiful no matter how close up you get. That took me hours to clean, but I used the right products and it was super great. We got a video of that. The Zoomy style headers are really cool and they sound incredible as well. When you rock around the vehicle, it's got that great stance to it. Look at that. Just great looking vehicle. Love the old school front end suspension. Then coupled with the disc brakes and stuff. Pretty neat. The waterfall grill there. The paint is absolutely beautiful on the vehicle all the way around. Really, I think only one chip in the paint. You can see that right there. Those coker tires are uh, like brand spanking new. They, they don't show any wear whatsoever. Like even the, the rubbers are still on there. Interior is beautiful. Love this windshield. You know, it used to have the frame in there, but somebody modified this thing uh, when it was built just a few years back and um, built that into the frame of the vehicle, which is pretty cool, pretty unique. Got the bucket aluminum, like airplane seats in there. Beautiful dash. And uh, in this back, This uh, rear end has the rumble seat style rear end, but no seat in there. And if you look right over there, that little switch lights up that Ford emblem. See down here below, you've got the uh, wrench for the wheels, an Optima battery right there. Um, on that battery, that's a little bit too big to be in there. They must have had a smaller battery because that cover doesn't fit with the Optima in there. On the rear end, you can see all the body smoothed and all the holes where the fenders would have been are all tidied and welded out. In the rear bumper, they've managed to put the lights and the blinkers in there which are pretty cool yeah, that looks of course the fuel tank back here again you can see underneath the vehicle how pretty it is underneath there it's just absolutely beautiful those are adjustable coilovers as well but just nothing nothing to be disappointed about when you look at this vehicle Let's see if I can do this one-handed, which I think I can. Yep, I sure can. It's pretty neat. 
underneath there you got a beautiful engine bay 302 v8 some very nice modifications the chrome alternator there flamethrower racing distributor electronic efi there you've got the holly double pumper on there elder brock riser high rise on the manifold the ford racing aluminum valve covers very tidy very nice and again, you'll see pictures of this all the way around the electric fan in there for cooling, which is very nice as well. So uh, let's take this thing for a spin. Let's uh, put this back. Let's see if I can get that in the hole. There we go. That's simple. And both sides of that hood open up, of course. Just a great looking vehicle. And when you hear the sound of this thing, that's when it becomes a lot of fun. So take a minute. Interior is beautiful. It's originally touted as leather, but I know it's not leather, it's vinyl, but very nicely done. Carpets are beautiful. All underneath here, really pretty. No seat belts. You got the, I did it, tilt steering wheel, turn signals, wooden steering wheel there. And all the gauges work. To start this thing, it's real simple. There's up here, they have, uh, let's see, I'm gonna, let me see it now. Oh my goodness. I'm gonna learn how to use my equipment. Okay, right up here is the switch that you use for turning the car electronics on. And you hit the start button. And just like that, that start button right there. And she starts up. She has great sound. Yeah, you gotta love that. See all the gauges are working just fine. So, I'm gonna get my... Uh, camera gear set up for our drive and we'll take it for a spin all right we'll take a spin now turn this thing back on under the here the switch hit the start button right over here all your headlights work everything works on it Four-speed automatic transmission. I think it's right around 100 degrees out today and feels pretty nice. when you get on the gas but not too bad you'd want that a little loud on a car like this wouldn't you now
And she's pretty smooth, too. Turn on the blinker, you can see the blinker indicator right there. She does get up and go. And I'm just hoping my hat doesn't fall off. turn here decent turning radius There, blood off the fuel. I always tell my bring a trailer clients that if you have any questions. Put them in the comments section or send them direct. But I'll be happy to answer them as quickly as I possibly can. Got the reserve ridiculously low on this auction. And we hope all the information is suits your needs. And we hope you enjoy the video too. See you next time for the next fun, great vehicle that we get.